Alright, hey everybody, I'm here to tell you about my MEPS experience. I saw some people post their videos and everything, but I'll say my quick experience. I did mine about six months ago, by the way. Most people post their videos, like, right after. But anyways, um, yeah, six months ago when I swore into the Marines, uh, by the way, you get this pulley shirt, it's just a shirt. But when you swear and you get it, I guess, and stuff. Anyways, um, six months ago, um... I had to go to MEPS in Anchorage, Alaska. I'm from Ketchikan, Alaska. It sucked because uh, you have to take a ferry to um, you have to take a ferry to go to the airport, and then from the airport you fly there. So, anyways, my ferry was being dumb and uh, got canceled. I guess well, not canceled. It just didn't make the time. So I was uh, I got to the airport like. I had 40 minutes in advance, and if you're checking in a bag, you gotta show up 30 minutes in advance at least. So they weren't letting me on. It was stupid. Um, my mom was kind of pissed, but like whatever. And then I called my recruiter and told him about it, and he was like, he's pretty pissed about it. And he's talking to the people and everything. And by the time he's done talking to everyone, there was like, uh, freaking still 30 minutes left, and they just didn't let me simply check in go through security and get on the plane and the security line is seriously like two minutes to go through it's not like LAX or anything like that or a big airport but anyways and it was a Sunday so my recruiter's like oh I don't think I'll be able to get you a flight because it's hard to do and um yeah so I was like fuck and he was going to training the next day so I had to wait to fucking for a while maybe and um he was like, yeah, you're going to have to do it sometime during school because this, well, I'm doing my senior year right now. And it was before my uh, senior year, like right before the year started. So, yeah, but somehow I guess he got me a flight. But, um, so that was cool. It, it was about six o'clock. I flew to Seattle and then I flew up to Anchorage and I got there like about 10 o'clock, 10, 11. I met my recruiter at the hotel. Um. It's pretty cool at the hotel there. I forgot what it's called, but they had me food ready. They had me, like, a nice sandwich ready. Uh, they gave me apple pie. Uh, freaking nice and hot. It was good. With ice cream and um, fries. I think I already said that. Stuff like that. It was good. And then my recruiter came over. We signed some papers. Uh, it was just some simple shit. And um, so that happened. And now it's about 12 o'clock. And... Fuck, I was kind of tired because that same day I woke up like at 6 o'clock in the morning to get to the airport. So I was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. It sucked. And um, I moved to uh, Ketchikan like two weeks. So when I was living two weeks there, I already swore in. It's something I wanted to do, so I don't be like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I've been wanting to join since middle school and uh, got in a bunch of arguments with my parents and everything. It's it's a pain in it's a fucking pain in the ass. Believe me, um, if anyone wants to join out there, let your parents know you want to join because a lot of people don't join because um, I guess their parents talk them out of it and stuff. So if you want to do it, freaking do it. You know, don't listen to well listen to people, but like, you know, you gotta follow what you want to do. You can't just be that easy. But um, anyways. Uh, I get to my hotel room. I had a roommate. Said bye to my recruiter. All that shit. He was he was going to the army. He had boot camp next day. Um, this in Southeast Alaska, there's a bunch of different islands. And this guy's like, "So where are you from?" I'm like, "Catch can Alaska." He's like, "No way, me too." It's fucking weird. But we were watching Full Metal Jacket. We ended up staying up the whole night. Um, sucked. I didn't get no sleep at all. My wake up call is like at four thirty in the morning. I was already up, just showered. Make sure here's a tip: make sure you um clean your ears with Q-tips and make sure you smell good because they they can kick you out at MEMPS just for if you smell like shit. Like they've done that to people before. Anyways, get ready. We went downstairs, ate breakfast. Um, I it was like it was really early in the morning, like five six some shit like that. We uh went to MEMPS. I was called in all day or so. I did everything. Took my test. I'll tell you about that right now. Anyway, so we get there, go through security. They were like straight up at, before we even went in. They're like, "You guys are not allowed to have your phones out. Nothing." They told us a bunch of rules. Um, 
what well, uh, federal building, so I guess they had a lot of security reasons. Like, I don't know, I guess they just didn't want us on our phones simply, but make sure you listen to the rules. It's not that hard. They're basic rules. Don't, don't fucking break the rules. It's that easy. One guy actually did have his phone out. They said they were going to kick us out if we had their phones out, our phones out, and they kicked his ass out, so. I'm pretty sure his recruiter was kind of mad. I think he was Navy, but still, don't do that shit. Anyways, um, fuck, it's cold. Um, it's all right. All right. Um, yeah, so then, blah, blah, blah. I talked to my, um, liaison, whatever they're called. Um, yeah, he's like, oh, whatever. I wasn't even, uh, fuck. I wasn't even in the system, so... They had to enter me in the system. It's just a pain in the ass. And after that, you go through like this thing. Um, basically just a brief. You sign some paperwork saying you understand this, you understand that. That sucked. Your ass will hurt. You will be bored because it's early in the morning. You will want to fall asleep. Believe me. I was like, oh my god, fuck this. They do like a breathalyzer test stuff like that. So don't be stupid and drink the day before, because they will send you home for that. Um. Basically, you're signing paperwork a couple hours. Um, we signed. I signed mine for like, fuck, what was it? It was a couple hours. Um, I think it was like about three. We got out about ten, eleven, something like that. Um, I was still in Memphis, of course. Um, and then after that, uh, fuck. Oh yeah, I just talked to my liaison, whatever the. I was the only Marine there. There was like eight Navy people. Um, two Coast Guard. Air Force had, well, Air Force National Guard Reserve, shit like that. Um, they had, like, four, and Navy, I think I already said Navy, but they had a lot, like, eight or something. Or Army Army had only two. So, um, I was the only Marine, like I already said earlier. Um, the best, by the way. And, um, so that happened. Oh, shit, it's cold. Um, what next? Oh, okay. uh, we took, I took a urine test and blood. They checked my eyes. Well, this is kind of part of the, the, um, what's it called? Fucking, like, your physical stuff, I guess. I barely passed the eye testing, because I got shitty eyesight from far view. But, um, yeah, close view, I can see great. Like, I can see myself now, but, um, yeah, I look like shit. I just got at work, by the way. Um, and it's like 12 o'clock or some shit. But anyways, that happens, uh... Then I took my ASVAB. Well, I think I ate. I think I they give you like a sandwich, chips. Uh, I think they gave us cookies and water. It's really good. Well, it tastes freaking amazing because you're just starving. Like it's about twelve o'clock now, I think. And then I took my ASVAB. That took about two hours. It's only me and some other girl taking it, and uh, it's easy enough. I haven't been in school for like four or five months at a time because in well I lived in California before and we got out earlier and the people here start later so I was I didn't study for it I was tired like I said of course that's not an excuse so nothing's an excuse but I did fine on it did I forgot what my score was but uh fuck I forgot and then um yeah after that you do like the physical uh testing like well of course between everything I'm like talking to the guy in the freaking office and it's just so much damn talking and waiting um, yeah, and then you do your physical part. They strip you down to your boxers, and you do some, like, random fucking motions and everything, and there's one called a duck walk that's pretty awkward, like, well, first of all, you're in your boxers, and you're, like, looking like a fucking retarded crab walking on the ground, so, yeah. Good thing I was the only one doing it at the time, because everyone did theirs earlier in the day, so, I think that'd be kind of weird. Well, they were, like, to the girls, they're, like, I hope you guys aren't wearing thongs, but, yeah, um whatever um yeah they freaking make you they seriously check every bone in the body at the time i had well i'm not gonna say anything um yeah you gotta get through you know um that's that um yes i'll tell you guys when i'm done with boot camp and everything but um yeah so anyways uh fuck um that happens then they have you they check you it's fucking weird you got your doctor guy in there and you got the some officer, I guess, just checking to make sure everything's going well. And the guy, my doctor guy, 
the one in Anchorage, I heard he's the one that fails most people in, like, the U.S. or some shit. So, I didn't know this until afterwards. Everyone was telling me, oh, that's the guy that fails almost everyone. And my recruiter's like, oh, yeah, good thing he passed you. But, um, yeah, that happened, blah, blah, blah. They check your medical history, everything. Oh, a big thing for everyone is asthma, so we'll just be honest with your recruiter. Be honest with your recruiter. There you go. And so you can get waivers and stuff like that, so don't even risk it lying because if you lie and they catch you, you're fucked. Believe me. Anyways, uh, they just, like I said, check everything. Your heart, flexibility, I don't know. They do some pretty awkward shit. Like, I had to, um, well, it's awkward saying this because my sister's, like, right next to me over there. But anyways, um, they, you know, check your balls and stuff, of course. Fucking, the guy was gay, I swear, dude. He was playing with, like, my penis. They look in your hole and everything, all that shit, you know. Um, and it's super awkward because, like I said, there's an officer standing there the whole time. If I was him, I'd be like, fuck this job, dude. He was, like, staring the whole time, just freaking staring, man. It was really awkward. And then I felt like I was, like, in a porno or something. You know, like, the beds where you lay down. I had both of my little elbows on. Dude, of course, you're, like, naked, pretty much. You're just, like, spraying your butt cheeks, too. I should have, like, farted or something. I don't know, you know. It was so awkward. And afterwards, like, looking at them was just, like, you couldn't look straight at them. It was freaking weird. I lost my manhood. And then the girl that checked my eyes, really, like, she was a hot girl. And, like, I'm pretty sure she knew just what happened. And it was awkward because the officer guy, and she was just there. And I was just, like... Yeah, awkward. But then after that, I talked to my liaison, whatever, some more. I went to the guy back and forth, signed my final paperwork, did the whole bullshit, yeah, I swear in, and that was that. And, um, yeah, they tested my pulse at the time I did, uh, 20, I think it was 26, some shit like that. And they just do stuff like that, and, uh, they drove me back, and that was that. I didn't go into very well detail because your videos have to be short on this thing. It's fucking gay. I did one with a bunch of detail and everything, but they didn't. Um, they didn't upload it because it was too long. So, anyways, that's that. Um, and my second roommate was a guy in the navy. He's actually he went to boot camp today. So good luck to him. Um, that's that. If you guys got any questions, just go ahead and comment, and I'll answer them for you. Uh, I use this a lot, so. Yeah, audios. And if you have questions about being a poly, fucking ask them. Later, guys.